It's a sound and sight New Yorkers have gotten very used to. Fast forward to today. Signage installed to show that new tap and go technology is here called Omni. It stands for One Metro New York. For now, it allows a tap in entry to four, five, and six train subway riders between Grand Central and Atlantic Avenue Barclays Center stations, as well as Staten Island bus riders using phone based wallet and cash apps or debit or credit cards that have this emblem. That's too many restrictions, some riders say. Concentrating on the, the upkeep of the trains themselves and making sure they're on time. All of this other stuff is fluff. The MTA response. <laughs> came after Top Brass initiated the system with slight hiccups just afternoon. The best way to do this to progressively, relentlessly introduce new products. For now, Tap and Go is only for pay-as-you-go rides, but the greatest formal complaint is about the security of the system. We know that they historically shared MetroCard data with the NYPD to be used as part of the domain awareness system. We can't just take the MTA at, at its word. We are not going to sell, lease, or do anything with any customer's information. That's our policy today. That's going to continue to be the policy. Assurance enough for a majority of riders we spoke with. I think it's better, because to swipe, you got too many people on these trains want to swipe people on, and I don't mess with that. But just as Metro cards can take multiple swipes to work, she we found the same off. issue with some tap-and-go attempts. Right, so it will take a while to work out all of the kinks. 2023 is when the tap-and-go system should be the standard where the Metro card will be phased out. That is what these pamphlets say that the MTA has been handing out at stations like these where there is a tap and go system. In the meantime, they intend to phase in monthly passes, even a card that you can buy with cash and then use for tap and go. They admit there will be some issues that they hope to get all worked out over the next few years. Right now, reporting live from the Bowling Green Station in Lower Manhattan, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.